What's up, guys? It's your boy Nick with Hercules Fit, and today's topic is my very first bodybuilding split and why you should stop doing full body splits. Now, this is a disclaimer. Um, you do what the hell you want to do. If full body splits work for you, you build lots of muscle with them, they working for you, keep doing them. So don't don't dislike my shit just based off the title. It is YouTube. You got to have a catchy ass title. I'm just saying, uh, in my opinion, there are better things you can do other than full body splits. There, You can build more muscle with some of the other things I'm going to talk about. So just keep that in mind. But do what the hell you want to do. All right. One of the reasons why you should not be doing full body splits is something called volume and intensity. The main thing that drives muscle growth, this is they've done studies on this, and a bit of it's common sense, is volume and intensity. So the higher the volume, the higher the intensity, generally speaking, the more muscle that you can build. Now that's not always the case, but generally speaking, that is the case. So. Say you're working your full body, you're doing that five, six days a week like some people do. Unless you're working out for two or three hours a week, you're not going to be able to have a high amount of volume per muscle group if you're working full body. And now, there's exceptions to that. There's some people that can do, you know, 12, 13 sets per muscle group and work their whole body. But unless you're on steroids or some shit like that, you're probably not going to be doing that high amount of volume. Most people I see that do full body, they're doing three to four sets per muscle group because again you got to get through everything you're not going to spend two three hours in the fucking gym most people are not, are not going to do that so the problem with working full body is you cannot get as many as much volume in and intensity in the same workout you almost have to choose one or the other so for example either you're going to do a lot of volume and have a lower intensity or you're going to do high intensity but you're only going to be doing one or two or three fucking sets per muscle group which is going to hinder your muscular development this is the reason why people do bodybuilding splits because it allows them to have high intensity and also keep the volume fairly high without being in the gym for three fucking three fucking hours so my general so generally what i'm trying to get at guys is it's better to do a bodybuilding split than it is to do full body for building muscle. You can still build muscle doing full body, especially if you're a beginner or if you're on steroids and you can just you just have the energy to work out for three fucking hours doing high volume. But for most people, they would benefit better from doing a split. Now, what kind of split should you do? I'm going to tell you the, the, the split that I did when I started off. I started off with a push-pull leg split, bro split, whatever you want to call it. And the reason why I started with this is it allowed me to have enough volume to work for my goals and spend enough time on each muscle group while also keeping the intensity at a certain level. I've done full body before. That's why I can talk about it. I've done an upper or lower. Both of these are good splits for building muscle. But in my opinion, the most optimal split for building muscle is either going to be a three-day split or a four-day split. So either a push-pull legs or doing a four day split where you know you're working you know one or two muscle groups per exercise session. Either one of those splits is gonna yield the best results, the best bang for your buck. I believe that if you're gonna be doing full body splits, it should be left purely to cardio because you know you're doing a lot of you can you know you can do a short rest time not really focus on lifting super heavy just mainly just getting your heart rate up and sweating so you can burn a lot of calories or it should be used for like weight loss so you know you're burning lots of calories you're doing working your full body help you lose weight but as far as for hypertrophy you will get better results by doing a three or a four day split than you will by doing full body because you can isolate and focus on each muscle group better than you can if you're doing a full body doesn't mean that you can't build muscle with a full body just means that it's not the most efficient split for doing that i see lots of people do full body they live and they die and they swear by it i'm telling you you are much better off doing a push pull legs or doing some other kind of four day split than you are doing a full body that's just the way it is and it's purely because you can't isolate each muscle group the way you want to with a full body. You're, you know, unless you spend two or three hours in the fucking gym, you just can't do it. You, you really can't do it. Or if you can do it, the intensity is not going to be as high as it would be if you split it up and did like a push pull legs or something where you can, you're not working as many muscle groups and you can actually focus on going to failure with the muscle groups that you're doing. Um, when I was in college, 
I switched. I, I was doing, I did, for you guys that don't know, I was doing a push-pull leg split probably my first six, five or six years of lifting weights. So about half the time I've been lifting weights, I was doing a push-pull legs. I started off doing an upper-lower. That didn't work that well, so I, I quickly stopped doing that. And I started doing a push-pull legs um, my first year, about halfway through my first year of lifting. And that's when I really started noticing results. Um, and again, it's because you can do more volume and you don't have to have super fucking long workouts. So I say, and then I eventually I switched into a four day split because I needed more time in between classes to, um, or I needed, I had less time in between classes and I needed shorter workouts. So my push pull leg split, I was doing such high volume, like 15 to 20 sets per muscle group that I had to give myself an extra day, um, split it over an extra day to, so that way my workouts could be instead of two hours, it could just be an hour or an hour and 15 minutes. So I don't recommend you, you go to a four day split if you're a beginner. If you're a beginner, I would say stick with a three day split, a push pull legs, that'll take you home. I built a fuck ton of muscle with that split. I'll put up a photo of what I look like after you know three or four years of doing a push pull leg split. Great split, my opinion, the best split to start off with on your bodybuilding journey. And after that, you know, you can do a four day or five day split or whatever the case may be. Um, the more days you break up your split, the more you're trying to isolate a certain muscle group. So for example, a four day split, theoretically you can isolate your muscle groups better than you can with a three day split because you're doing less sets or you're doing less muscle groups in your workout. Less muscle groups in your workout means you can allocate more sets in a given time frame for that muscle group. So you know, if you're doing normally doing 15 sets or 10 sets for your chest and you're doing chest, shoulders, triceps, 10 sets a piece, that's 30 sets for your whole workout. You do just your chest and your triceps. Now you can do 15 sets for your chest and your triceps and it still equals 30 at the end. Again, that's just one way of doing it. You don't have to do it that way. But if, you know, you've been working out for a while and you notice that your workouts are long as fuck, like two hours plus, try splitting it over another day and um, spreading out that volume so that way you can put more energy into the muscle groups that you're working and you'll probably notice that you'll get more growth. I noticed substantial growth even in college after lifting five years when I switched to a four day split as opposed to doing my normal push pull legs. And that's just because you know my body had gotten used to push pull legs and I wasn't able to work out as hard with a push pull legs because I was getting burnt out after working about you know two muscle groups by the time you, you know, I always work my shoulders at the end because they're a strong point for me. By the time I got the shoulders, I'm burnt out. I ain't got no more, I ain't got no fucking energy left. But if you split it up over another day, now you got the energy to work all those muscle groups because you're not working as many muscle groups in one workout. Which brings me back to why a full body split is not optimal. You're working all these fucking muscle groups, but you can't allocate that many sets to them without being in the gym for a fuck ton of long time. And not to mention, you probably wouldn't even be able to um, recuperate or repair in the subsequent days if you were doing high volume and doing a full body. Now you may say, well, I would just split up my sets over the course of four or five days. So say you, you, know, you want to do 20 sets, I'll just do 20 sets over five days with full body. That is a way of doing it. You will get gains doing it, but that's not going to be as intense or as efficient as if you did those 20 sets over one or two days. So even then, the intensity is still going to be lower if you're splitting up. It would be like try doing five sets of bicep curls in a workout um, and split, and then doing that five days a week or doing 20 sets of, of bicep exercises in one workout. Which one do you think you're going to be more tired with? You're going to be more tired with the 20 sets in one workout because it's more overall volume in the workout. And in my opinion, you will get better gains assuming you assuming you're advanced and you can recuperate from that you'll get better gains doing more sets in one workout than you will doing all those sets split up over five or six fucking days so guys you know i'm not hating against full body workout if you've been doing full body it works for you you've made lots of gains with it keep doing it but just keep in mind that you will probably get better results if you start doing a traditional bodybuilding split like a push-pull legs or a four or five day split, whatever you know your schedule allows for. You'll get better results with something like that than you will doing a full body on average. I've seen it myself. I've talked to people. I've coached a lot of people. You will get better results with a bodybuilding split than you will than you will doing the full body or even doing the upper and lower. I feel like if you're doing these kind of splits, these splits are good for weight loss. They're good for cardio. 
um, or if you're on steroids and you just have the energy to do high volume full body workouts, but if you're not in one of those three factors, you're much better off doing a traditional bodybuilding split, like a push pull legs or a four day split. Maybe you work your chest and your back and your arms and your shoulders. That's what Arnold Schwarzenegger did. Or, you know, like Dorian Yates, you work your chest and your biceps and, you know, you do your back for a day and then you do your legs on a day, you know, a four day split. That's what Dorian Yates did or Ronnie Coleman. You know, he, I think he did a four day split too. You know, there's lots of different ways of doing it, but the point is you need to be doing some sort of bodybuilding split to optimize your training and to be able to allow you to have enough volume and intensity for each muscle group so it can grow. So guys, I hope you learned something with this. Um, wasn't trying to have this be a divisive fucking video, but you know, this is just my training approach. Um, going to be having some training programs coming out soon within the next couple months. So stay tuned. So that way you guys can get whatever training program you want, have some push pull legs come out. Probably going to have some, um, probably some fancy stuff. I don't know. I'm going to work on it. I'm going I'm to come up. You guys give me some ideas in the comments of what kind of splits you want me to work on or what kind of splits you'd be interested in doing and I'll work on them believe it so email me at work before you wish at gmail.com for coaching i appreciate you guys check out my merch it's link in the description below hercules fit it's your boy nick your boy hercules signing out